Looking for some unique ways to grow your business? I got my buddy Mario Mitchell with me today out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're gonna be talking about some unique things that maybe you've never thought about to grow your business and your relationships. This is one you're not gonna to wanna to miss. All right, guys, I am really excited, man. I got one of my best friends in the business, Mario Mitchell, here with me. Um, and uh, one of the things that we've talked about, Mario, we, I mean, you're down here um, just kind of spreading a little knowledge with our agents, which I really, really do appreciate. Yeah, absolutely. You're willing yeah. to do that and the way you give back to the real estate community in general. Um, in line with that, what I want to do today is, is as we started talking, man, there were just some unique things that you're doing that we're planning and that um, got my juices flowing. I know it's probably going to help them. Awesome. Let's go through and talk a little bit about kind of what you're doing as running your team, some of the things you're doing. I'll tell you what, let's take it back and let's originally start with, obviously, when um, when the pandemic hit, you and I were talking a lot. Some of the things you did in the neighborhoods, yeah. specifically what you did with um, with food trucks. Can you talk a little bit about that? Absolutely. I, I think for us during the pandemic, we were trying to find unique ways to get our team in front of our, our farms, okay? Yeah. Uh, and more specifically, the communities where, where the farms are at. And the one of the unique things that we decided to do was take advantage of food trucks. Because uh, a lot of restaurants were shut down, they're short staffed, and they weren't able to get involved based on some of the CDC rules that we had within our community. Uh, food truck was an easy way to get there. Uh, we promoted it, we went out to our farms, sent it out into our, our um, print, and then more importantly, we were there in front of the people as they showed up with, as almost like a drive through You saw some of the drive through birthday parties. Right. Uh, and then the food truck was great. Um, and we still do that today. Like right. we still use that, we do it once a month. We find a community uh, that's within our farm of our team. Uh, and we make sure that we always host that. Uh, and then we're trying to get a little bit more creative with it and bring new concepts and new ideas to it so that we can you know, have some better takeaways as we move forward. Yeah. So let's talk about that because if somebody's out there and they just don't even know where to start, how would you, um, would you talk to the HOA prior to this? Would you just do it? How would you yep. promote it, I guess? Yeah, great question, great question. So for us, the, um, the people that are doing those farms, one, I always tell the guys, if you're gonna farm the neighborhood, one, start within your own neighborhood, right? right? Learn to start there and be a part of your board. You should wanna be a part of your board so you know what's going on within the inner workings of your own community. Uh, and then once you're, even if you're not on the board, you do approach the HOA and say, hey guys, what's a good day where I can bring in a, a food truck uh, and host it, uh, more importantly, and then be able to manage it uh, for the people inside of that community. The HOA is most likely are okay with it as long as you're not crowding some of the pool space. Um, and if you're picking a correct day where they're not crowded. And then it's just, uh, you're setting up and moving through it. Their biggest thing is just making sure the trash is collected uh, and they're making sure that there's no you know, crazy commotion. That's really yeah. about it, but it's super simple. As far as the food trucks, you should know already what the popular food trucks are and you can just Google food trucks in your community and right. figure that out. And then just go down the line and just pitch a couple of them. I would look through a couple of those uh, food trucks because some are gonna charge you and then there's others that will not. Right. So you wanna go with the ones that will not charge you, especially if it's your first time, because you wanna make sure that you're getting people to show up, number one. And number two, get something that's, that's gonna be family friendly. That's right. important, right? You don't wanna get a food truck out there that's you know, maybe all Chinese food, and then you got a bunch of kids that show up and can't eat, right? right. So it's important to make sure that the menu fits the community that you're, you're, you're trying to service. So this is interesting. So typically it's not costing you anything as far as the food truck. You're not buying into the food, you're just facilitating it. Yes, right? exactly. We're just organizing it, but you gotta have a takeaway. So ours, we always, we always give a free dessert, right? Mm -hmm. A dessert is a goodie bag. Typical, it can be a cookie with your, your business card on it, or whoever the agent is that's doing that, or you can give away, you can do raffles, you can do, I mean, you can be creative in a lot of different ways, right. depending on how the community is allowing you to be a part of it, whether you're masked, unmasked, or whatever it may right. be. Yeah, yeah. so t let's talk a little bit about how are you getting the information out? Are you doing that direct mail, door knocking, or are you um, <clears throat> utilizing the HOA? Yep. How is that look? So we set it up through our direct mail. So we always direct mail the communities when we're farming, uh, and then we also go into their websites. Most communities have, uh, it's called Nextdoor, mm -hmm. so you'll get on that next door app and let it let them know hey this is where we're going to be at this point in time um, and then also you further that and you go to the food truck and they have their own Instagram accounts as well as right. websites and then have them add you you your company and your team onto their website right. so now you're double dipping yeah. um, and then you get the community getting right. moving it's great so it's really not costing you that much money it's the no. time facilitating it's really putting it together no. Um, and somebody that's you know sitting out there maybe saying, well, gosh, I don't have the money to do something like this. It's really not money. It's time. It's 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 simply time. It's the same thing as an open house, right? Except you're giving something 
to the community where they didn't have before, right? So, and most people want to eat, yeah. and if and it's 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 accessible, right? Yeah. It's easy; they don't have to go far. They're inside their community; they pick it up. And if you time it right, you're timing it when kids get back from school, you know, and it's even easier for the families. Yeah. So you're, I mean, literally, though, y'all are present. You're there. You're helping 100%. with everything. You're you're um, out there. I guess branding it out a little bit to know yeah. that y'all are facilitating it. Yeah. You got you got to be careful. I think we've done so many that we've learned over the time. It's, you don't want to talk real estate unless real estate is talking about right so we don't want to make people feel like we're trying to pitch them more importantly you want to put the face of the marketing yeah. in front of the people right yeah. so whoever is doing uh, the marketing to that community and farming that community is super important that you're present so they could see the face and be like oh wow she or he they're super cool I yeah. like that person and then when the time comes that they want to think about selling or buying in that community or getting a friend to buy you're you're the first of mind man this is so good and not only is this good what i love about you is is that um all right that's um that's a 101 so what are we doing 201 right now we're talking about this a little bit what were yeah about? so uh as we've progressed through the food trucks um one of one of my agents uh he randomly owns a restaurant uh and so i i said to him you know over the table just having fun i'm like amir we should why don't we buy a food truck <laughs> you know yeah. and he said Sure. So I was like, go get it. You figure it out. You, once you find that, let's put in our own food truck together. But more importantly, I wanted to make sure that it was something unique to not just our area that we can put out there, but also make it some type of financial driving source to us. But more, the other side of that is I wanted to find a way to leave tidbits behind. So when a customer comes up and takes the food from the food truck, maybe we brand all of the cups and put real estate tips on the cups. Uh, so now there's a giveaway. We buy the we buy the drinks, but they go they leave with a QR code on the cup, um, and then they can just take a snapshot of that and it brings them directly into our website. So now we're we're just increasing our database by simply servicing the community. Yeah. So it's a double dip situation. Yeah, it's so good now with QR codes and doing that. You, yeah. you and I were kind of brainstorming a little bit on this. I mean, even having whatever that is, like five things to know before you consider selling, you know, specifically. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then having it where that QR code drives them to a video that drives them to your website or whatever yeah. it is, um, or, you know, things to consider when you're getting ready to buy or whatever it is, just really specifically mixing those cups up and that messaging up in a way yeah. um, that gives it something that is of value to those folks as yeah. they're coming in there. It's all about value, right? You got to have that value add, yeah. and everybody's looking for it. Uh, well, but being unique and outside of the box at the same time. So. Yeah, I think I think your creativity stands out. You know, when you're doing something like this. Right. The other thing that I love was is, I mean, when you and I were first talking about this from a pandemic, I mean, I know your heart and where you were coming from was is what do these neighborhoods need? What do these families need? Yeah. And it started from a place of okay, well, look, you know, they can't go out to eat. Yeah. Uh, they need to eat. This yeah. is a way that they can kind of gather, hopefully, a little bit um, safer back then. Yeah. Now it's blossoming into something where that sense of community really yeah. goes there. Um, can you speak to that a little bit? Because, man, I know how, how much you're driven by community on really what this looks like and how, I mean, I know I know you always think of things from a bigger perspective. I mean, what is this? what is the impact that this has made on some of your farms? Have you seen some noticeable changes? Yeah, you know, I think the farms, sometimes they want twice a week or, I mean, twice a month, I yeah. should say. So, and, and then some come onto our website and say, hey, there's a, which food truck are you guys getting this month, right? Yeah. So you get the communication back and forth, which is fantastic yeah. um, and then you get the calls like we get a couple calls and hey you guys are here last month was curious can you come out and give me an idea of what the value of our house is you know that's really the big part of that but um, some of the other things where we tie the community back in is now we also do every single month we do a, a give back to the community so last month was uh, national dog day so we have happy hours for that this month our team is doing a, a happy hour for everyone at the lake uh, and we host those things and we can push it back into the community and say hey come out we're gonna buy the first drinks on us it's just a, a come out and talk yeah. um, and just you know it's important as community because that's what we are as realtors we're community servants right mm -hmm. so it's important to do that and then funny back even further in covid when it first started we did covid fitness right mm -hmm. gyms were closed so we were out doing everybody's yards just to help people that you know one were afraid to get out because they're elderly or they just couldn't get lawn guys to come out uh, so we did that for a little bit till we broke our back so i mean it's always trying to find ways to be a part of helping people because if we don't help them they can't help us right, right. so you got to be the first to throw the branch yeah man this is so good i love not just the amount of business you do which is amazing um, yeah. but just the, the your heart for the people yeah. um, so man appreciate you more than ever listen i know you guys got some value out of this if you're curious mario how can they reach out to you if they've got a referral easiest you know one uh, 
at Mario Mitchell team is through all of our social media, through Instagram, Facebook. So that's the easiest way to grab if you want to DM that way. Uh, you can reach me directly at any time, 704-284-8057. Good stuff. All right, guys, make sure you thank Mario for this great idea. I know this is going to be wildfire as some of you take these into other markets. Let us know. Make sure you let Mario know how much you appreciate it. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.